Good morning. It's such a big day for Sergeant Thomas and his family. And today actually is almost exactly to the day 10 years since he was injured in a roadside bombing serving overseas. And now he's actually coming home to a place he can feel safe and warm, anchoring down him and his family here in Fernandina Beach. It's a beautiful brand new home brought to you by Operation Finally Home and Lennar Homes. Sergeant Bradley Thomas put on the uniform because of his father, who dedicated a career to our country. Thomas hoped to serve 20 years like his father did, but his was cut short. A roadside bomb left him injured, physically and mentally. While he tried to serve despite the injuries, he ended up medically retiring in 2015. He struggled with the fact that his time as a Marine was cut short. He struggles to acknowledge his sacrifice to our country. But his new home is helping him see what others see. The most touching thing I think is I always I always think I'm a bum. No matter how how what I do in the world, I'm always like I'm a bum. I could do better. I could do more. So I, I never reflect. I never take time to look back. And I, I sure as heck, you know, don't look back and go, oh look at look at the great things I've done. Yeah, you know, it's just not the person I am. But I do that more often because I owe it to the people who are gifting us this home. I owe it to those people to appreciate myself, appreciate my family, appreciate, you know, the work that I've done because they believe in me. He found out back in November that he was getting this home mortgage free, but I will say there are a few surprises still in store today, so I'm not going to spoil them because I know Sergeant Thomas might be watching. Good morning, Jacksonville, but stay with us throughout the day. I'll have updates. I'm really excited to see their faces when they come home. Now, if you know a veteran you would like to nominate to potentially get a new home from Operation Finally Home, go to operationfinallyhome.org, and this is actually the second home they've built in our area. Live in Fernandina Beach, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.